Warning, the following video shows the use of chemicals which can be potentially damaging to your health. Please read all warning labels on your products and wear the appropriate protective gear when working with chemicals. Do your discretion is it. Hello YouTube, this is Makubetsu. Today I'll be showing you how to paint the eyes we created in the previous video. For this tutorial, you are going to need a few things, such as the blanks we cast in the previous episode, your paint, tape, as well as the head of a pen which we will be using as our painting tool. It is recommended that you use masking tape for this tutorial. Uh, unfortunately, I'm using a different kind of tape because I didn't have any masking tape. The first thing you're going to need to do for this tutorial is basically paint your pupil. To do this, draw a dot in the center of your eye. Then, draw a line across that dot. Then, another line through the center of the where the dot and the line intersects. Repeat this process with the other eye and double check that and make sure that they all line up as accurately as possible. Once that you have done this, basically connect all the different lines to create your circle. Fill in the circle and double check that again they line up as much as possible and make any corrections that are necessary. Once you are satisfied with the shape of your pupil, connect all the dots and fill it in. Uh, after you've done so, then you may paint carefully the pupil. Uh, this will help create the pupil, make the pupil as black as possible. Otherwise, with marker, it will not look black enough. And you'll end up with holes in your paint where the other colors which we'll put on top will blend through. Uh, and we don't want that. After you're satisfied with your pupil, uh, you should then place masking tape around the edge of your eye in order to protect it from any droplets of paint. Uh, once you've done that, you may begin the next step of painting it. Uh, the paint you use will vary a lot on what you have on hand. Uh, simple acrylic paints work, although I'm using enamel-based paint. Uh, I will not tell you what brand I'm using as that's a trade secret, um, but uh, I will say this, that it is quite pricey. Begin painting your eye by placing a thin layer of your lightest color. Uh, this will act as a background to your eye, um, or rather foreground, as we're painting reverse. Uh, whatever color you place on first is going to be in the foreground of your eye. Uh, subsequent colors will be in the background. The next thing you'll need to do is actually begin the detail of your iris. To do so, you're going to take the pin that I said you'll need earlier, and you're going to gently scritch the surface of your eye going around the pupil. This will begin making the markings and blend the colors as well as create holes in the paint which will allow you to place other colors on top that will shine through the different layers. This will make more sense as you go, but just begin by uh, scritching the different markings into the iris as shown in the video. Repeat this process with the other eye. Uh, once you've completed that, go back to the original eye that you're working on and add the next color. That color will be a slightly deeper shade than the one you just placed on. After you're satisfied with that color, you'll then go, need to go to a deeper, heavier paint weight. Uh, you'll need something that's a little bit tackier and thicker uh, in the viscosity, uh, which you'll use around the edge of the eye. Uh, after you've painted on uh, a basically line that goes around the edge, you'll need to then blend the color in to the rest of the paint and then again proceed to scritch around the pupil in order to blend the colors. Now we're going to move back into the center of the eye and we're going to paint the color that is nearest to the pupil. Uh, depending on the eyes uh, that you are doing, this will be a uh, lighter shade than uh, the one on the very edge, but still darker than the base color that we put on first. Again, blend the color in, scratch the surface. We'll be repeating this back and forth by moving in and out uh, as we slowly build up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a color that's still in the same family group as the other two colors we use, but in a different shade group. Uh, this will either be lighter or darker uh, than the two uh, colors that we used before, but it will be still somewhat similar. So for example, in this case, I'm using a brown, I'm making a brown eye, so I'm going to be using a yellow color. Uh, this essentially is a color that's going to be in the background of the previous two colors that we used. Again, I'm going to be painting it on and then blending it in with the other colors present and then scratching the surface. Now essentially we're just going to continue to repeat this process, moving back between different shades, lighter, darker, lighter, darker, moving in and out of the eye in order to best to blend the colors. 
each layer we do, we're going to scratch the surface in order to help blend those colors. We're going to continue this until we can, until we find that we can no longer see uh, any clear resin peeking through. Uh, at which point, you're going to then place your darkest, deepest color last, or your lightest color, uh, that is the brightest color, which you will then shine through uh, your remaining parts of your iris. Uh, this will make sense once you actually start painting yourself, and a lot of this is just practice. Uh, but that's essentially it. It's a very, very simple, simple thing to do. Uh, it just takes a lot of practice and a little bit of color theory to know which color should be used when and how it should be used. And remember, you're painting a little bit opposite to what you would normally do. Uh, you are starting uh, with your foreground, moving into your background, and jumping around, and having to kind of think about how you want your colors to be present in your eye and in which order. Uh, and that's something that takes practice. Once the paint is completely dried, which will be around 20-30 minutes depending on the paint you're using, uh, you can peel off the masking tape and then revel in the glory that is the beautiful eyes that you have spent the last hour-ish painting. Um, and that's essentially it. Now you are ready to install these eyes into whatever fursuit costume that you intend to use them in. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial, and please leave a like and comment if you did. And feel free to subscribe for more videos. I'll be uploading tutorials weekly, or at least that is the plan. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Makubetsu signing out. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So, congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. And if you skipped ahead and you're watching this, shame on you. You should rewind and watch the whole video. Uh, that said, uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'll be doing more a... Uh, tutorial videos on how to do different things and parts for making for different costumes and fursuits and mascots and the whole shebang. Uh, so stay tuned for more and I apologize for the lateness of these videos. Um, real life sucks. Uh, <laughs> so stay tuned and thanks for watching. Mecha Betsy signing out. Ciao!